everybody, it's Nicole with Stargazer Soaps. I am making gardenia soap. Oops. I've got soap in my strainer. Oh well. Just my lye solution. I already have my powders and my creams and my creams, my cream in here because the last batch I made, I almost forgot to add that. All of that. So I added it before I put the lye in just to make sure I didn't forget. Um, the name of the soap is Bellatrix. I have made this one before. And this is a popular one. This one sells very, very fast. People seem to like gardenia. And this is a fast mover. Oh, I don't have lines on this one, so we're going to... There we go. I'm going to get some new containers. Um, and my batches are bigger. My smaller containers just are not going to cut it anymore. Alright, so this, the main part is going to be white. There. And then we're going to do pink. And blue. And I just wanted real light colors here. Set that aside. Let's do this. Okay. I'm anticipating this to move fast and to rice. So I want to get my stick blender ready. Let's see if you can see what I'm doing. The light is shining just right, and I can't see the um, screen very well. Because I'm using my new camera, yay! I am learning. How it works and what it sees. Oh, yeah, Rice City. I'm not even going to attempt to stir this. That was a huge chunk. All right, that was a huge chunk. <laughs> Did you see that? Looks like a big. bunch of cotton balls in there, huh? Yeah, it's big. <laughs> Smoothed out. I've never not been able to smooth out rising so knock on wood. This is a different gardenia that I've used in the past. Hopefully this is just taking a while because it's a big bucket, but it looks good. And because it's thickening up, I'm going to go ahead and pour this in my mold before I blend those two. And hopefully that's not a big mistake. Oh, hello. hello. I just popped right in there. Pop, pop. This is not what I was planning, but hopefully the other ones will come together much quicker, the blue and the pink. And I will be able to um, get it to go down in. We will see here in a minute. Let's do blue first. Let's 
seems to be okay. Pretty. It is pretty. I didn't burp that, but I wanted to keep the fragrance underneath the stick blender. Okay, so the base is going to be white. I don't know if you can see that, but that didn't go in at all. Wow, I wish I had realized that was going to happen because I would have... Um, well, and that just threw me so much, I just poured all of the blue in here. Ooh. Okay. Well, but I would have smoothed it out at least. But... Okay. I guess it's gonna be like a line. I, I guess. A ripply line. Let's knock it on the floor here. Mm. Pink needs to blend it just a little bit more. Whoa, who's right? My glasses are fogging up. This, this soap is hot. It's making my glasses steam up. I can't see what I'm doing at all. And if it wasn't for the fact that I like being, you know, having eyes, I would just take them off. But it's just not worth the, the risk to me. Make sure I'm in the camera. Second batch of soap today. And uh, they both did that. <laughs> did you hear that plop? Yeah. Neither one of them were fun players, that's for sure, but that's all right. That's what happens when you work with floral. They usually move quickly. I have more floral tomorrow and a slow mover, so cramp in my hand. It's, it's harder to work with the uh, the florals for sure. It smells good. It does smell really good, doesn't it? Yeah. Let's see, what do I want to do? I like flat tops, but I can't use a stick on this at this point. I'm just trying to get a little bit of texture and trying to even it out and have some tall areas. I think that's probably going to be good. Smash this down on the edge here. I cannot see. <laughs> I love my new soap molds. I just I love them. I love the shape of my soaps. I love the molds. And so much so that I got rid of all of my other ones. Except for the ones that I make my salt bars in. I kept that. Alright, so here is the new version, apparently, of Bellatrix. Don't go anywhere, I will have the cutting video on the back half of this one. Okay, here is Bellatrix. And the size, I mean, it's not too bad. This is certainly not what I had planned. My biggest issue is my bars are short. Um, I have been trying to figure out the volume of my mold. Well, I know the volume of my mold, but trying to get my recipe just right and I've never had this issue before where they're either too tall or too short. Um, I know how to do math. <laughs> I know how to manually calculate my molds and, and all of that and I don't know. So I'm cutting these a little wider than normal. I to give you an idea. 
there's a, now let's see if you can see that, the normal bar versus how I'm cutting them dark, sorry, shadows. I'm, you know, video camera, but the lighting in here is not good. And then the height difference is significant. And I can't move back because my soap cutter is in the way. Okay, I give up. But you get the idea just based off of that. <clears throat> I'm just going to cut one loaf on video because they're all going to look pretty much the same. I'm surprised I don't have more air pockets. There's one there, but that's not too bad. Now that I know this fragrance behaves <laughs> quite this way, I will plan differently next time. But here is Bellatrix. Let's get that out of the way. It'll be cured on middle of April 2016 and will be available on my website at stargazersoaps.com. Thanks for watching. Bye.